Picture this, a glowing column in the sky that twists, pinches, and sprouts shapes that look almost human. Not magic, plasma. In labs, charged gas self-organizes. It forms filaments, rings, and fireballs that move like they have a plan. Physics explains it. Electric currents, magnetic fields, and instabilities like the Z-pinch make structures that evolve in steps. Now here's the curious part. Across the world, ancient artists carved repeating figures, stick bodies with wide arms and a round head, sometimes with dots and arcs around them. Some plasma physicists noticed the match. They proposed that people once saw an extreme auroral display, a colossal electric current in the upper atmosphere, and drew what they saw. The shapes in the lab sequence line up eerily with the shapes on stone. What do we actually know? We know plasma makes those patterns. We know the aurora is an electrical phenomenon that can become wild during big solar storms. We know rare solar spikes have left fingerprints in tree rings, and historical records describe skies so bright they read like day. That's solid. What's still open? Whether a single global sky event explains those carvings, or whether many symbols had local meanings that only happened to resemble plasma forms. Dating rock art is hard. Context matters. The case is suggestive, not settled. So we're left with this, a real physics engine that makes sky shapes humans might never forget, and a trail of images scattered across time. If the ancients were drawing the sky, what else did they see that we've forgotten to look for?